This film was made as part of the Common Cause Research Project, which aims to understand how universities and black and minority ethnic communities build collaborations. Each of these films tells a different story of how these collaborations might work. They range from long-term partnerships to short-term projects and events. The films are designed to prompt discussion and reflection. We encourage you to ask, what questions might be learned for the future from these stories? Kayal Music and Imagination. This project explores the relationship between Indian music and visual imagination. It brings together musicians, musicologists, and visual artists to explore Kayal music, to produce original artworks, and engage a wide range of audiences. Indian music tradition, uh, for a long time, has uh, had a strong let's say, visual component. So there is uh, old traditions of uh, ragamala paintings and miniatures. We've been working collaboratively with Durham University for some time now on various projects, on performances, on pre-concert talks, post-concert talks as well, and workshops. And I guess this was the next step. As a result of this um, long collaborations with musicians and listeners in India, we decided to um, embark into a new project and, and uh, bring together um, Indian musicians and visual artists of uh, South Asian and non-South Asian origin to collaborate. And to create their sort of reflection and their interpretation of rock-based music. But also we want to create an opportunity whereby young audiences, children were able to also engage in the project. For us, it was a great opportunity to sort of see how we can create, uh, I guess, more synergies between our program strands and also around how we create research around that. They have the expertise in those areas that we needed for the project where we didn't have contacts or experience ourselves. So they, they were the obvious and natural partner and we started drafting our application to the HRC and they were, we, we consulted them constantly. What was a struggle? I wouldn't call it struggle. I mean, there is always the learning curve, having to learn about things I had not done before. Working with, a, working with the visual artist was a new thing for me. I wouldn't call it a struggle though. The response to the call was fantastic as well. Finding artists that we didn't know were out there, but also their response to the brief around the Kayal project as well and how they would um, respond to it. We had the three singers, three Kayal singers coming from India, three visual artists, the one based in India, and two visual artists based uh, in, um, in Newcastle. Lots of the research and the workshops happened in the context of the university within, you know, um, their labs here. And uh, the first one was more an introduction, but then each visual artist uh, um, had time alone with the singer that they were kind of matched with. These are some of the artworks, aren't they? Yes. So they're just some of them, yeah. And then um, there, there was this other piece of work where they put the artworks in the balloon and they sent the balloons off with the address of the website. When the final exhibition happened at the Lang Art Gallery, it was like, wow, it looked incredible. The young people that had worked in school settings as well, their work alongside the professional artwork, alongside the app, alongside the interactive work, alongside the performance that happened, the audience's response to the exhibition, to the publication, to the app has been overwhelmingly positive. Even as a researcher, with my interest on the relationship between visual arts and classical music, I had been working with professional musicians for many years. I had never worked with professional artists before. I had never worked with uh, amateur artists. And uh, I had never, 
I never worked with visual arts, basically, with arts galleries, uh, uh, but even at the level of the school workshop with art teachers. So that was a completely new side that feeds into my reflection for my own research, definitely. We sort of brought a lot to the project as well, you know, in terms of artist diaries, in terms of getting feedback off teachers as part of the project as well. That helped the university to support their evaluation methods as well. The project is, um, well, it's still ongoing. The quality of our collaboration, I think, was much more, it became deeper, more intense. Uh, and in a way, the project, um, <laughs> It was never meant to be a test, but it gave us further evidence that gem arts were ideal partners for us to work with. I guess for us, because we're a publicly funded art organisation, we want to ensure that you know we have our own evaluation methods in place as well, which are robust, but working with a university and research behind that actually sort of um, creates more of an opportunity to show the wider public, funders as well, about you know the impact and the value of our work. We did things that we had never done before. For example, the, the organization of the school workshops, it was managed by them. Uh, we could have never done it on our own. What's been really great about this project is because we had those relationships early on as well, we could talk really frankly about you know things that were coming up. We felt free to discuss any problem, any doubt. What was missed? I can't think of anything really majorly that was missed. No. <laughs> God. What advice would you give to a, another community practice considering embarking on a similar kind of relationship with an academic institution? Would you give them any kind of pointers or advice? I guess it's always about, you know, what, what is the motivation of both parties coming to the table? I think there has to be a reciprocal and a mutual benefit. It is always about capacity as well, and it's about sustainability of those organisations that are working at ground level. And that is hugely important, especially at times like this, when there's major cuts affecting these grassroots organisations that are doing really valuable work, and you know, um, which then feeds into policy and strategy and research which the university um, actually are responsible for and value as well. And at that higher level, that has to trickle back down and vice versa as well. And that can only be done through um, resourcing organisation appropriately and to the value of what they're meant to be delivering. What was a surprise? the artwork, seeing how the different artists are related to the music. And in some cases, I, I thought, wow, that's really the music. What was a surprise? Let's be frank, like in terms of some of the schools that we work with, within some of the most deprived areas in Gateshead as well, they have very little <laughs> knowledge about Hindustani classical music. So their responses and their artwork as a result of that was just incredible. What would you do differently next time? I would consider developing the iPad app, but not only for uh, um, Apple, um, not only for iPads, but also for Android. Do you have a question that you'd like to ask Fikas? Would you do it again? <laughs> yes, that's a thing. Would you do it again? If you are interested in finding out more about the project, please go to the Common Cause website.